since I've been back. I, I'm, this is the weekend. Uh, it's Sunday evening right now, going out for a dr or going out for a ride. Came back two days ago, uh, Friday night. I've done some riding uh, since I've been back. Matter of fact, that night when I got back, one of the first things I did was jump on this ride, but I didn't make any recordings or videos just because I just, I just wanted to, uh, you know, enjoy the ride and have to worry about recording or anything. But I figured now I'd make a short photo vlog saying, you know, I'm back. I guess talk about my trip a little bit. Oh, that's cool. The old E-Dub van, that's fucking nice. That's cool as fuck. Funny thing is, I've seen a lot of vans like that in New Zealand from like travelers, other travelers that, uh, bought old bands to travel in and all that stuff. Uh, New Zealand was great. Uh, loved it. I don't know if you could hear it in my voice, but I honestly wish I had stayed. <laughs> I really... I really don't want to be back, to be honest. Uh, of course, it's, you know, I'm glad I'm back for, you know, because I wanted to come back to my motorcycle. I also wanted to see my friends, my dogs, and my family, of course. But other than all that, I really wish I just, I really wish I stayed, to be honest. New Zealand was as beautiful, as great as I expected, and more in some cases. It's one of the top countries I've always wanted to visit, you know, for years and years since I was, you know, younger and all that stuff. Finally got to do it, finally accomplished it, said, you know, f*** it, and uh, did it. I will say one thing, from what I could tell, New Zealanders, they they don't drive like assholes and they all pretty much are on the same page when it comes to traffic and stuff. Unlike here in Houston, I did make quite a few videos, uh, I took a lot of pictures, you know, if y'all followed me on Instagram you probably saw quite a few posts on my Instagram. Uh, I took a ton of pictures, but I'm not gonna like saturate my Instagram with all those pictures. But other than pictures, I did take videos of like activities and stuff that we've done. And in due time, I'll put them together and make like a little travel vlogs. I'm probably not gonna do them all at once. I'll trickle them out here and there in the next, you know, couple, couple months or so, I, it depends. Depends on how much time I have. Oh shit, that's a hole. It's kind of weird because during this time of year, it's technically New Zealand's uh, autumn and winter time. So it was chilly. It was like, it was pretty chilly. Like the average temperature that we experienced was like in the 50s at, at the most. It was more like the 40s really. We even went to areas that were like snow covered and whatnot. I honestly feel two weeks wasn't enough. There's so much that country has to offer and things that, and thing, in terms of things to do and see. And we crammed a lot, but we crammed quite a bit of stuff uh, in two weeks from what I've been told by other travelers. A good average amount of time to spend to do, you know, pretty much most of the exploring of the entire country, both North and South Island is at least a month. I definitely want to go back one day for a longer period of time but see the thing is like I'm a little I'm in what the hell are you doing bro <sighs> Florida <laughs> I'm a little bit of a depressive state there's no other way to really explain it and the last time I took a vacation was to San Francisco with my girlfriend go at the time she's never been to San Francisco so we decided to take a vacation and spend a, I think we spent two weeks there for, yeah, it was about two weeks. But that was the last time I took a vacation, like a real vacation. And that was, damn, that was like five years ago or so. A little over five years probably. 
at the time I was not really feeling my job. My job at the time was okay. It was good in terms of money and I could have quit that company and went to a different company to make different or more money doing the same job. But I was just really not feeling that that industry. It was like the construction in industrial industry. I worked for a crane company, so we did a lot of like refinery work, construction work, oil field work. When I came back from that vacation, I was just, yeah, I know it's a meme somewhere, but it actually holds some truth where it's like when you come back from vacation and you just come back with a newly revitalized, rejuvenated hatred for your job. <laughs> It's kind of a meme, just poking, but it, it's, you can't help but be like, that. that's true as hell, like, accurate AF. That's kind of what the state I've been in this whole weekend, like, I've been dreading going back to work. And I love the guys I work with, you know, I'm friends with just about all of them, and they're all good guys, I just, I don't know, I'm just, after going on vacation, especially to New Zealand, a country I've always wanted to go to, I even contemplated moving there. It made me, it puts things in perspective. One of my biggest like life goal, I guess you could say life goal, something I've always wanted to do in my life was just to go see the, you know, travel the world. Travel the world, see, see the world for what it is. Oh my God, what the hell? There's an accident up here. Ooh, it just happened too, pretty recent. like an allure of that adventure of seeing things you've never seen before, experience things you've never been seen before, getting out of your comfort zone and just seeing the world for what it is, rather than staying in a, being stuck in a endless cycle of 9 to 5, eat, sleep, work, pay bills, do the same thing over again the next day. I mean, it's cool, like, if you found a career that you really like and really love and that's what you want to do, then, you know, I'm not, I'm not hating on it. I just, and I know money's important, having a job's important. For years, I've hated the whole idea of being stuck in the social norm of finding a job that pays good and then, you know, stick to that until you die. Maybe start a family and get a mortgage and stuff like that, you know, like all that sounds good. That's one interpretation of, of success at life and a lot of people will go for that and there's, you know, it's no problem that I just personally don't have any interest in it. There's really no other way, like for years I've not had interest in it and I just, unfortunately for me, I just never took any, you know, steps into taking that different route that I was imagining and, and, and fantasizing about. That vacation is what I needed because it put things in perspective and now I have a revitalized motivation to travel, to see the world. It was a little secret lifelong that goal that I've held, you know, within me. That I didn't really talk too much about to other people. And maybe even ultimately, who knows, perhaps even live in a different country. The ultimate goal is to hopefully one day maybe find some place in this world other than here that I can call home, you know? But yeah, anyways, that's stop. Sorry for <laughs> sorry for that little uh I guess rant or tangent or whatever, but I didn't really mean for this video to go into like a rant about my whole like what I want out of life thing. I just wanted to let y'all know that I'm back. Hey, you know, I'm back on my bike, back in Houston, making videos again and whatnot. At the same time, you know, expect some travel vlogs from my trip in New Zealand, you know, stuff like that. So yeah, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe for more. You know, don't forget to leave a comment, share if you like, and I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.